Hello. Husky's back in with more Washington Capitals GMO Trenches my commentary. Uh, last video we we made a couple moves to I think sure up the team before we start our I think this is year three. Fairly certain this is year three. Um back to back disappointments in the playoffs. I need to double check, hold on. I have my videos open here. I can never remember just where I'm at. So, okay, so yeah, we're in year three. That's that's that's, that's something I should have known. But either way, we uh, we added Charlie Coyle, power forward, six three two twenty. Um, good all around stats. Like he doesn't. There's not a single thing wrong with his his style of play. Uh, that he's also three point two for two years. Good deal. Um, we've got Gallagher that we traded for. We got Leon Dreisaitl. Um, I might have to move one of them up. I might have to swap Galchin. No, Galchin has to stay there. Um, I might have to swap Coil with Gallagher if this team, if this line gets too um, minus heavy, because they don't have the greatest defense. Coil has good defense, but the, I mean, mm, they all have four star defense. Gallagher's four and a half stars. So he should sure up this third line. Alright, maybe not. And uh, our defense is our big one. We added Jakob Larson and Troy Stetcher. Uh, Jakob Larson was from Anaheim. Stetcher was from Vancouver. They're both on friendly deals. Ja Larson's on his entry level. And Stetcher's got a 3.4. Uh, ideally, that's what Larson signs for. Um, and our goalies are still Holtby and Picard. Hopi's, how old's Hopi now? Hopi's 29, so he should be here for the entire length of this GM mode. Uh, let me double check my special team, make sure everything is good to go. Larson can shoot the puck, so can Stetcher. Um, I actually want Bowie on this. Yeah, we can do that. Boosh, Juran, Galchenyuk, Gallagher. I'm actually going to put Coil on this second. Uh, Coil is the center? Oh, yes. I didn't know Coil was the center. I have too many centers. That's fine, though. Yeah, our power play should be nasty. Penalty kill, dry sidle, 77 faceoffs. Um, I probably should put. Leave Backstrom on that first power play unit. And then leave Dano, because he's got 80 faceoffs. And then swap these two. And then, do I want to put Bowie on the penalty kill? I think I want to put Stetcher on the penalty kill. Leave Bowie on the power play, since I took Stetcher off the power play. No, I took... Who did I take off the power play? Oh, one of the guys that was already here. Alright, so we're good. We are ready to go. Year 3. Hoping this is a... Uh... We turn the corner here. We're playing Vancouver, game one. So we get to see the defense we just traded. Alright, here we go. First period. Vancouver's a decent team. There we go. Carlson and Dreisaitl. Nice. Looks like they've made the switch to Markstrom full-time. That's something I never did with Vancouver. Galchenyuk gets on the board. Nice. And I can't remember. When did I trade for Galchenyuk? Did I trade for him... Like, during the resign phase? A re free agency? I don't remember when I traded for him. Phil Dino, so all four lines have a goal. Yannick Hansen gets one. Um, I could do with all the... Oh, alright, so they're coming back hard. Power play. Let's hold on to this, boys. We got this. Easy win. Oh, Juran, nice. Yeah, so every line got a goal. Nice 5-3 start. Um, I don't think this team has any weaknesses. I mean, our fourth line's a little weak, but... Well, we're going right into... Right into our backup here. So I'll send to January 1st. Um, I don't even know like what moves to make. So I'm not going to make any moves this video. Ideally. I'll, uh, if anything, I'll send to the trade deadline. And I'll look for suggestions from the viewers. On what I should do if anything. Um, I think this team has hit the point where. We've turned the corner. And we should be a President's Trophy team. Um, I think the defensive acquisitions we made. 
along with Galchenyuk and Gallagher. I just realized I took Montreal's two most promising forwards aside from Sergachev? Sur Sur Sergachev and Shearback. Those are the only two like prospects they have left. Nope, speaking of Montreal. Well, they're four and six. I don't remember who I traded them. I traded them Oshi. No, they beat us. Of course they beat us. All right, so we started off five and zero. Oh. Since then we're two and five. Um, we really only have to keep an eye on plus minuses. I think. I think somebody got hurt in the Tampa Bay game. That uh, Charlie Coyle. Um, do I have anybody to put in there? I'm actually gonna move Gallagher up while I. Who do I have scratched? I have Matt Stage and scratch. Okay. So that that's all right. And he's out till the 18th, so he's out for two weeks. That sucks. All right, so now we're two and six since going five and zero. Oh. All right, we've come down significantly. All right, that's more losses. We're giving up a ton of goals in these losses. There's another loss. Eric Griba, no. Hey, there's a win. Madison Bowie got hurt. Nice. Another loss. Coil's still not healthy. Backstrom got hurt. Coil's back. All right. So we're, we're struggling here. We're first in the division because the division's not doing very well. But, or maybe that's just, there's parody in the NHL. I don't know. You can replace stage in with Coil. Because, I mean, we started off fucking out of the gates doing great. Alright, well, we'll get back into it. 9-9. Nine and nine. No overtime losses yet again. We don't seem to like to lose in overtime. Which I guess is a good thing. If we get the extra time, we win. 9-10. and ten. Come on, man. This is... This is ridiculous. Three shootout wins. That's all of our wins this month. Oh, we have a win. We have a win against Colorado. Penguins are not 10, 9, and 2. We're 11, 10, and 1. Like 11, 11, and 1. 9 to 6 loss. Good lord. 5 to 4 win. Alright, I think I'm going to have to look at my lines after this month. After this Dallas game, I'm going to look at my lines and see what the hell, who's doing what, because we're going to have up a shit ton of goals. Yeah, see, now we're starting to slip. Betchkin leads the team in points. Is 19 points in 26 games. Gallagher is 16 in 26. So who's a minus? Carlson's a minus 14 and Alsner's a minus 12. Alright, so our defense... That that fourth line is not working. They're real... They don't score at all. So that I have to change that fourth line. I have to change that fourth line. I have to change up my deep pairing. Because Carlson and Alsner should not be minus 10 plus. Um, just a matter of what do I do with that fourth line. I honestly thought this fourth line would be good. Um, I think I need to just switch this pairing up. Because this pairing just isn't working. I'm going to put Larson up there. And see if that helps anything. Because something's just not working. And do I have any... I mean, I have stage in. What's the note? The note's only a minus 5. Ward's a minus 8. And White's a minus 9. So, my wingers aren't... I don't have anybody to score on this line. That's the issue. I mean, deneau has got seven points, but I need to swap out either Joe Ward or Ryan White for somebody. Um, somebody with offensive... And, uh, who's an offensive threat. Um, and I don't think I have any offensive threats. Just hanging around, not being used. 
Uh, in the system, yeah, I don't have any offensive threats. I mean, Christian Thomas is a sniper, but he doesn't have anything worthwhile. So I'm going to hit up... For, I don't have any money to hit up for agency. I'd have to move one of them. Um, yeah, I can't get the free agency from here. Trade and improve. Free agents. Alright, let's see. Connor Brickley. Didn't I have him? Two way forward. Actually, can I afford you? Let's we'll see if I can. I don't know if I can actually afford him. Nordstrom. Cannot. Terry. Tanev. Two way forward. Devin Sidiguchi. Brian Flint, Anton Lander. Can I sort by shooting? 70, 76. Oh, these are defensemen. Yuri Talusi has four star shooting. Yuri Talusi might not be a bad option. He is a sniper. What does he want? He wants 1.6. Well, I'll give you the league minimum and see if you sign it. He's not going to sign it. I know he's not going to sign it. But I need to pick up somebody for her. Oh, we're just getting advanced days. Oh, we lost that game too. No, I didn't want to hold team meeting. I wanted to advance. We're really struggling here. Like, this is bad. Parking up the wrong tree if you think I'll ever send a two-way deal. Alright, calm down. Ross removes. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop Joel Ward for uh, this dude. Because that gives me some cap room to play with now. Because Joel Ward is making $2 million and ideally he, I shouldn't have $2 million on a fourth liner who's a minus 10. That's just, no, that's not a thing. Absolutely not. So we'll put this dude down here. Rund in. We'll see how he does. Maybe he can breathe some life into this fourth line. Minus eight, minus one. How, why is Dry Saddle a minus eight, but... Is that first line a minus? It is, wow. Maybe I need to do this. He's got better face-offs. I think Galchenyuk has better face-offs. Two playmakers and a sniper. That really won't work. I have too many playmakers. Like these are They're all first line guys. I can't put I can't put any of them on the third line. I just can't. Because I mean ideally what I do is I do this. And then I put like I don't know what I do. Maybe I try this. I know Galchenyuk is not a third line center, but he only makes 5.7. Cause that stuff only makes 5.2. Backstrom only makes 5, 6.7. So I mean, yeah, we'll give that a shot and see if that changes anything. Cause I gotta, I gotta figure something out. Cause something's just not working right now with this team. I don't know what it is. And I don't have much longer with Ovechkin. I think, like I said, I have five years probably at most with him. So we'll wait and see how the team shakes out. Oh, he's scratched in the minors too? Okay, now he's playing. Yeah, I just don't know... What else to do with this team? Ryan White, you can be replaced by Stajan. Fourteen, fifteen, and three. That's just Alright, five three win. We need to shrink something together here. 
No, that's another loss. We just can't get anything going. Ryan White's available. Eight to four loss to New York. Like, come on. The team has ten wins on the year. We lose eight to four. Oh, Dino's up to a minus nine. He's a minus five. Plus one, minus seven for Dreisaitl, minus five for Burkowski. First line's a minus. Ovechkin's got 18 goals. This first line's a minus. Defensively, have they got, have these guys got minus 18, minus 12, minus one, minus eight? Like, I don't. Why is Carlson a minus 18? I just, I don't, I don't understand, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. We're only five points out of first place in the division. Something's got to click here at some point. I'd hope at least. It's all it is is win loss win loss like we don't win more than one in a row but we lose several in a row oh we're above 500 until that game of course all right so we're we're fourth in division we're eight points behind pittsburgh we're out of a playoff spot currently We have 40 points. Oops, I didn't want entire league. We're technically tied for a playoff spot with Florida. I mean, we're not, like, there's nobody really running away with the league. I mean, Anaheim and Minnesota and Toronto are pretty high up there, but... I mean... I don't feel like this Washington team is a middle-of-the-pack talent team. Vetchkin has 22 goals, 32 points. Like, he's down in scoring. Backstrom's down in scoring. Carlson's a minus 16, so, I mean, he's gotten better. Coyle's really struggling. He's not a first-liner. Maybe I just duo snipe that first line. Go Vetchkin, Druin, Backstrom. Because Druin, Galchenyuk, they're doing decent. Prokofsky's doing decent. Gallagher's doing decent. Like, it's just these minuses are killing me. Stajan's a minus... Uh, I benched Ryan White. He's a minus 13. No, I didn't bench Ryan White. I benched Dano, who was a minus 9. What's my goaltending look like? Hope he's struggling. Picard's terrible. I think I need to move Picard, grab a different goalie. Are there any free agent goalies that are worth anything? No, that's proposed trade. Actually, let's see who wants Picard. Actually, I should just go to goaltenders. Calvin Pickard just isn't working. I get these Gillies kid for him? One for one? Nothing. I give you Belmar too. Why well, would I have too few goalies? Alright. What players do you want? Can I give you somebody shitty? Give you this kid. I accept that Picard would have to be put on waivers. Really? Oh yeah, he would. Damn. Alright. Um, do you want him back? You don't even want him to give me. 
Hey, so Grabauer. HO goalie now. Jimmy Howard, he probably makes too much though. Yeah, he makes 4.9. I couldn't even afford him if I wanted to. But yeah. Kings. They have quick, that's really it. They don't have a backup. Oh, these guys don't have anything either. I just need somebody who can not have a 3.75 goals against the average. They don't have anybody. Maple Leafs, nothing really. Man, there are not a lot of backup goalies that are worth anything. They have Demko and Markstrom. What the Coyotes? They have Mike Smith still? No, they don't. Oh man, they don't have anything. And they're almost 500. What does Boston got? Subban. Let's see if I can make a deal for Kadobin. Give me Kadobin and a prospect. You don't have any prospects. Give me Kadobin and a fourth. For Picard. Alright. So I know that's not really a blockbuster, but it's a deal that had to be made because. Pickard, Picard, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he sucked. He absolutely sucked. And I'm hoping Kadobin can at least be half decent. Like, he doesn't have to be good. But he needs to be better than Picard was. Because we were basically losing every time he played. Alright. Um... Sim to the deadline, and then we'll see if my team's still sucking it up. If they are, I need to kind of retool that fourth line, maybe. Oh, here's Kadobin's first game, I'm assuming, against the Islanders, and we lose. I'm surprised we lost three in a row. I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Hey, we won back-to-back -back games. Look out, three in a row. Oh, but we lose to Columbus. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm... Maybe I just have to mess with the line combinations so I get something. Why do I have so many back-to-backs? We have a back-to-back -back every single week. I don't think Kadobin's won a game since he's been here. I think he lost all three of them. 23, 22, and 5. I don't get it. In the the GM mode that I did on Twitch, on streaming, uh, Washington won the first two cups, and they didn't make any moves. Like I barely made the playoffs with my team the first two seasons, and they won the cup both years. All right, look at that. So we get back-to-back -back wins, feeling good, and then we play Vancouver and we lose. No loss. This is just frustrating beyond belief. The Ducks are 40, 14, and 1. And we beat them 4 nothing. Like, I don't get it, man. I really don't. Six to three loss. We probably lose to the Sharks too. Oh, we beat the Sharks. So I mean, we've won quite a few win games this month. All right, we're four games above five hundred now. Five games above five hundred. Well, maybe we've maybe we've hit the maybe we've hit our stride here. Third in the division. 11 points behind them. Backstrom leads team in points. Coyle's still struggling down here with 25 points and 55 games on that first line. Ovechkin has 30 goals. Gallagher is 20. Bukowski is 15. Jurena is 16. Galchenyuk is 17. So, I mean, we're getting goal scoring. 
Carlson's under minus 11, so he's he's bringing it back. Dry side was a minus two, he's bringing it back. Stature's a plus nine. Rundin's a minus three, but he's got 12 points. Russell's a plus three. Bowie's a minus, no, Bowie's a plus three. Ryan White's a minus 13. Larson's a minus six. So we're, we're slowly bringing it back here. Um, I might just have to drop Coil off that first line. Maybe dual sniper it up or something. Because Backstrom's getting all loads, all sorts of assists. So I'm going to set my lines for what I think they should be. Um, this third line's actually working rather well. Is he, what's his morale? Is it good? <clears throat> individual performance, individual performance, individual performance. All right, that's fine. As long as there's no ice time issues with Galchenyuk, I'm fine with leaving him down there. Gallagher scores. We'll go with Coil, Gallagher, and Kuznetsov. We'll move. I'll do a two sniper first line. Try Seidel, Galchenyuk, Burkowski. That line's working. I said he's got 17, Burkowski got 15. Try Seidel's, I mean, he's struggling, but he's gotten better. Since moving Galchenyuk down there, it's been much better. This fourth line's still, I don't know what to do with this fourth line. Uh, Ryan White's going to have to go. So he's a minus 13. My defense. This, I don't get how Stetcher is so positive. I mean, they're both positive, but Larson's struggling with Alsner. Alsner might have to go. Alsner might be the next one on the chopping block from the defense. See if I can find an 86 or an 87. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's uh, a little younger and a little cheaper. But yeah, these are the lines I'm going to go with going forward. Uh, give me any feedback on them and if I should move anybody. I think the team's good. I said we just won five in a row. <clears throat> Man, my voice is starting to go. I should end this video now. Yeah, so comment any feedback uh, on my, if I should look to move anybody. I think the, the goalie edition uh, was, I don't know if it was warranted. Let's see, does he have a win yet? No, he's 0-5. So that so probably didn't work out so well. So definitely a backup goalie, something to look forward um, in the offseason. <clears throat> Man, all right, I have to stop. Remember, leave a comment with any feedback. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. And come back tomorrow and... See if we can keep this run going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.